okay so let's begin with this is our blank project with a empty scaffold now just change the brightness to dark now add the app bar with flutter slidable text and then passing a list view builder and now we have to add our data list with some dummy data then adding a atom count then after we are adding a cart tile which we are going to build now now creating this particular cart tile with a cart and a list tile inside it with a leading of circle avatar subtitle and a title from that same data list so now we are going to wrap this widget with flutter slidable for that we have to add this particular package in our pubspec yaml file now wrapping this with slidable now it is going to give us all the ability to have the action pan so here we have in action pan which is going to display the widget by dragging from right to left it consists of action pan and inside it we have to pass a motion how it is going to be tracked over there we have to pass a scroll motion it will appear like we are scrolling now we have to add a children over here and children is going to take slidable action and slidable action have a required property of on press and icon data so over there we have to pass a icon which we are which we have to show an on press method we can add a background color which you can see over here along with we have a label property which we can add okay now adding another slidable widget and it is having a icon of a share it is also having a background color of purple with a shade of 200 foreground color which is now white changing it to black so it's look nice now changing the space this space is between the icon and the label so let me increase it to 15 now we have the space between it so we have a label of share now we have to do same with a start action pan so what this start action pan do it give us a slidable widget which come from left to right also need action pan same as the in action pan now we have to pass the motion over here i am going to use a draw motion so we have four different type of motion which you can see over here so the first is behind motion then we have a draw motion then we have a scroll motion then we have a stretch motion now coming back to the code adding this of a slidable action a icon of a archive and providing a foreground color background color and a label for this now it's look nice so while dragging from left we are getting this green widget while dragging from right we are getting share and delete So 
it have a fixed size of half of a screen width so if you want to change this particular size then we have to pass property of a extent ratio so this extent ratio by default is 0.5 so you can say 0.50 so what we can do we can pass a value over here like 0.25 which is going to give a 25% of the screen for our sun pan to display and we can change it to accordingly to our wish so now making it a 45 so it is going to take a 45% of the screen okay by changing this value to 1 it is going to take the entire screen width and going to expand evenly on that area as you can see we have this so for now let comment it out and moving to another property of it which is open threshold by providing open threshold you can pass how much force you have to apply to open that slideable so what it does it it control the force which is applied to open the slideable and the draggable behavior so while passing 0.1 we are providing least force little force we are able to open it but when we are going to change this to 0.9 then it will be bit harder to open this as you can see i have to drag a lot to open it moving from edge to edge and we have same as close threshold which is for closing this particular threshold so it is going to behave exactly as open threshold but it is going to work for closing that open action pan with the less value it is going to take less force with the high value it is going to take high force. as you can see over here i have to apply much force to close this now let's comment both open and close threshold now the important is dismissible so dismissible pan is the property which is dismissible required with on dismissible function so for using this we have to provide a key to our slideable widget and for now i am passing the index of our list so it is working fine when we are going to drag it further in the screen it is going to work so our last container is going to be take a complete space and it will give us a delete behavior by removing that particular item from the list let restart our app now you can see it is working fine like while tapping on the delete button we have to remove this item from the list for that we have to create one method of a remove item which will be a private method then it is going to remove data from the list now adding that function into our dism on dismiss method and same goes to our delete button on press method but we are 
facing the error over here so the error is the while tapping on this button we are able to delete but while dragging it completely our dismissible is not working so what is happen over here we pass the wrong key we are passing the key of our list view builder so we have to pass the key of data id so the key will be id which is coming from our data list so then it is going to be a unique for every item and then only it will going to be removed from the list as you can see it is working fine while tapping on the delete button as well as while dragging it completely okay we have one more property on slideable like we can change the shape of this by adding a border converting into a circle if you want to so in that way it work fine and while scrolling we are closing all the open uh, slideable widget you can say all the slideable widget which are open so to change this particular behavior we have a property we have a property of close on scroll which is true by default when we are going to make it false it is not going to close while scrolling as you can see while making it true it work as it was working before